Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jennifer from Sun Dragon Paper and Lace. And today I'm gonna do a flip through of um, this little journal that we've been working on uh, featuring Jacqueline's uh, Souvenir de la France, um, her digitals. So I finally finished, um, finished some of the Ephema pieces. And um, first I wanna do a little disclaimer. I am in no way an expert or I com consider myself um, an artist or a professional or that I know better or more than anybody else. I'm here just to have fun, just to share. And really, um, I'm a little lonely around here without uh, someone to share this craft with. Um, in our small uh, area here in Southern Oregon, I don't know of anyone that does any junk journaling. Um, there's a lot of crafters, there's card makers, there's scrapbookers, but not even scrapbookers anymore. Um, I think scrapbookers just kind of phased, that kind of phased out. Um, and now uh, we're into junk journaling, but I haven't heard of anyone else here in this valley. Uh, that's junk journaling. So I'm reaching out to those of you who love junk journaling. And this is a great opportunity that we have these days um, by reaching out to each other through social media, um, YouTube, and um, this commu community is so gracious and kind to each other that I'm just drawn to everyone. I'm drawn to everyone that is involved in this craft. And it's just been so fun. It's fun to utilize things, old things that are no longer being used and uh, repurposing them into something that is uh, pretty and able to gift or to share or to sell. And um, there you go. That's my disclaimer. But I wanna welcome everyone who has joined. Um, all of a sudden I'm getting all these new uh, subscribers and I'm so appreciative. I, there's just really too many to name. Right now I um, started out at 200, did my 200 giveaway and boom, all of a sudden I got another 38 more just uh, overnight. So uh, I just, again, I am so grateful for all of you and I appreciate those that are commenting and keeping me company and um, yeah. So here we are. This is a flip through of this little journal made with a gift box, um, gift box co cover. It's a cover made from a gift box. And um, let me see if I can give I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, sorry. But this is what it started out as, as a gift, this gift box, this size. And the size is, just for those of you that are interested, and I'm going by just what is going to be folded. And it looks like it's five and a half by four. So four by five and a half. Um, and this thing got pretty full. And I just love how it turned out. So here we go. This too will be in uh, put into my Etsy shop. And I put in a lot of these digitals from Jacqueline at Souvenir de la France. And this is a original uh, poems or uh, songwritings. There's a whole tablet of this. And I just took a piece of that. Which, by the way, um, all of my books have a little letter in there of the junk journal journey and um, what it's what a junk journaling is all about and i just made this this here too is from jacqueline's one of jacqueline's kits and i just kind of put a bunch of little scrap papers 
of different types of papers in there. Let's and then put a little piece of lace. This is the center of the first signature, so I made pockets with um, some vintage trim here. And this is a little thing to journal on, part of a cardboard, not cardboard, um, file folder. Oh, and then this too is more journaling space. I believe I made this card on video with all of you. And that's how that turned out. I thought it would be kind of fun to, instead of putting two pockets side by side, I thought it would give it a little bit more of um, dimension with just a pocket and a belly band. So it just isn't, it has a little bit more dimension. Um, yeah, here's a piece of um, fabric that I made of um, a snippet roll. And this is from Jacqueline's uh, kit too. She's, I, I have bought multiple kits from her shop. So you'll see a lot of them on here in this. And um, I don't know which ones belong where, but um, I will make sure to link her Etsy shop so you can um, look through it. Aren't those, they're just so cute. I just love his, that little guy, his cheeks. They're just adorable. Children, I think, are one of my favorite people. They are so, they make me laugh. They make me smile. And this also is from Jacqueline. Let's see. So it's just a telegram. And what I did with this is I um, used, used uh, the scribble paper, children's scribble paper from the dollar store and printed this on there on, and front and back and then just cut it out and distressed it. But um, I love that paper too because it just works really well to uh, make a lot of these vintage type Printables. That's a tag. That too is from Jacqueline. A library card. These are original pages from various vintage books. And this is a original letter here, and along with a clipping and a pin that. Um, the person put on here regarding that and it was it's dated 1945. that's just in there uh, i think i should put this in there there we go and this goes in there okay okay isn't that pretty I think that's, um, if I remember, uh, christening, is it, e it's either christening or communion or catechism. Uh, it's one of, I, I can't, correct me guys if I'm wrong. I mean, I was raised Catholic, but it's years and years and years ago. So, um, I know, can you tell me what is the difference between a christening, baptism, and then there's also catechism, I believe. So those of you that know, I guess I can Google it. But then what fun is that? Then I won't have any comments. I would love to have you comment and, and tell me and let me know. This is a this is also a journaling card in here. These uh, little CD-like uh, envelopes I got from, um, oh, somebody on Etsy too, but she's 
she's quite popular as well. I can't recall her name right now. I think it's Laura. Um, but I will go ahead and link her Etsy shop in the description. Here's some vintage fabric. I love that blue. And again, this is from, it's uh, one of those invoice kits from Souvenir de la France. And I believe we made this together. And what I did was I left it at, I added this and then also added some little scrap papers in there. And then there's some journaling space in the back. Put my little snippets on here. There was, um, this paper was folded up and I just put it on there to give it a little bit more stability to put this tag in there. And then this is a, um, just a floating pocket. And let's see, I just have, this is pretty tight. Okay. So this is journaling space in here. Here's a tag. And you can journal space. There's lots of journaling space. And there's like little bits in here to um, add any more decoration or do whatever you want. Where did I have I had that right there? And then I have um, this paper here is uh, it's from a book. A Italian book. I believe this is from um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. I bought one of her uh, book, vintage, old, old vintage book kits. This is one of them. And you can really tell the difference. Um, yeah, Rachel, I, I asked Rachel at one time because I didn't, couldn't tell the difference between rag paper um, or any other paper. And I asked her to put maybe a sticky note on the ones that were rag paper and um, she grow so graciously did and I so appreciate that and now it's gotten to that point now where I'm touching paper so much that I you definitely can tell and I just love that old that feeling of that that uh, grittiness and roughness and so yet delicate at the same time This is, um, all of these again are from um, Jacqueline de Groot from Souvenir de France. And this is a journaling card. Oh, and then um, the, um, this came from one of my uh, invoice books that I, re I received. Um, that was a school bookkeeping or secretary book. And I like to put a lot of my the Asian Asian writing in there. You'll see them that kind of a page, vintage Asian characters in all of my books because it's a little it's a symbol of my heritage because I am Asian. And there's this here, special, um, different papers, types of papers. And then on this piece, I put, um, again, I put, I did that special paper, the rag paper. Um, I think this paper book page is from the 1800s. And then I added Jacqueline's little, um, her Eferma pieces, her photos, and same here. Here's another page of that rag paper. There's a flower there. And then like that. And then there's also this. Isn't that a cute picture? Look at those little girls. Oh, just adorable. And 
and this is from one of her French documents kits. Okay, well, I think that is it. Yeah, this is the back. So, um, anyway, again, I just want to thank everyone for joining, subscribing, and also um, uh, commenting. For those of you who comment, I get so excited to get a comment. And I would just love to have more comments. I um, have an alert when somebody commented, and I try to comment as fast as I can comment back. It's just such so much fun to hear um it, to know that that there's some involvement and that that people are um watching and enjoying and keeping me company um that to me is a big deal and um and this is like you know one of those things it's one of my ways of releasing after work and uh, i just so appreciate all of you Thank you again, and um, until the next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.